Uncle said slavery happened because black people turned their backs on God. How do I respond to that? I said, Unc, how can I believe in that silver back in the sky if he's down up there watching us suffer? He watched slavery happen. He watches grape happen. I've had things happen to me and I just can't believe that somebody that has all of these powers, all seeing eye, bitch ass motherfucker up there watching it happen and not doing anything and I'm supposed to want to be in his kingdom. I want to access to his kingdom. No, thank you. Die. I told you me and Lucy? Lucy who was like fuck this shit God I don't fuck with you me and Lucy got more in common I'm ready to see him whatever creatures he got because me and Dracula we like this and I was kind of like this with the creatures with, with whatever ones he released on them people on motherfucking wisteria lane but anyway his answer was that black people turned they back on God so this is God's punishment how am I supposed to ever take any of you motherfuckers seriously slavery didn't happen because God turned his back on us Slavery happened because the Israelites are a stiff neck and a rebellious people. As Lamentations 5 and 7 say, our fathers have sinned and are not, and we bear their iniquities. And then we follow in our forefathers' footsteps. We continue to transgress the law. We continue to break the law, statutes, and commandments. We continue to go a whoring, worshiping idols without repentance. That's what led us into captivity. The Most High, he never turned his back on us. We turned our back on the Most High. So we were sent into captivity for chastisement as a punishment, but it was never to destroy us. And the thing is what our people fail to realize, we need to repent as a whole, as a people of our sins and return back to the Most High and keep his law, statutes and commandments. That's why we're here in the first place. Prayer of Azariah, one, six through nine. In all things have we trespassed and not obeyed thy commandments, nor kept them, neither done as thou hast commanded us, that it may go well with us. Wherefore, all that thou hast brought upon us and everything that thou hast done to us, thou hast done in true judgment. And thou didst deliver us into the hands of the most lawless enemies, most hateful forsakers of God, to an unjust king, the most wicked in all the world. And now we cannot open our mouths we are become a shame and reproach to thy servants and to them that worship thee. Deliver us not up wholly for thy name's sake, neither disannul thou thy covenant. Second Chronicles 7, 14. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. So ultimately, everything that's been brought upon us, the children of Israel, we have, the Most High have brought it upon us in true judgments due to our wickedness, due to our forefathers' wickedness. But if we will humble ourselves and return back to the Most High and begin to keep his law, statutes, and commandments, which is what he's requiring us, then he will forgive us of our sins and he will heal our land. So with that being said, we have to acknowledge our sins to the Most High, repent of our sins, and return back and keep his law, statutes, and commandments. Shalom.